count of smaller number after cell right because in this question we have a array and we need to print what is the count of smaller number after particular after every element of that array right what i mean to say is see for one there is no number present at the right side or i should say one is the last number so we will write zero here right for six there is one smaller number present that is one so we will write one here for two there is only one smaller number which is one present after two so we will write one for five we will say there are two smaller number present after five which is two and one so we will write their count which is two for seven we will say there are one two three four number present and all of them all of these four are smaller than seven right so what we'll do we will write four here right so this should be this should be our answer right this should be our answer okay now the thing is how we will calculate this efficiently right to calculate these smaller numbers efficiently what we will do we will create a bst right using bst we will find this now see okay so uh, one more thing uh, i want to show you okay so let me write first of all let me write this here so our answer should be 4 2 1 1 0 now let me raise this okay okay fine so every node every node of our bst will be having a uh, data that is the value of that node address of its left subtree and right subtree and one more thing uh, the node of my bst will have a variable called count right and initially it, it is one i will tell you i will tell you later what is the meaning of this count variable right but just remember we will have this special thing or this extra thing in our node okay fine now let's just start creating our bst to find this 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 number right so first of all what we will do we will pick the last element from our array and create a node the last element from our array is one so we'll create a node its count is one right now we will start uh, solving our problem right so we'll come to second last element right and create the node of this second last element so it is six right it is six let me make this and simply write six so it is six now see what we will say we'll say what we'll do we'll take our six here and compare is six is greater than is six is greater than uh, our root node yes 6 is greater than our root node so what we will say okay okay initially our answer is 0 so what we will say if 6 is greater than if 6 is greater than our root then we will this this 6 will ask uh, node number 1 hey how many nodes are C what will what will 6 uh, ask to node number 1 is see see listen this statement carefully S node number 6 will ask to node number 1 that hey you okay you are smaller than me but tell me how many nodes are smaller than me present so node number 1 will reply sir there is only one node which is lesser than uh, you present which is only me so this is this is nothing but this count right this is nothing but this count so what we will do we will increment our answer by this count so our answer will be now one why one because six has a smaller node which is one right okay so since we are going to add six to the right side of this and there is no right chain present for node number one so what we will do we will add node number six here right and its count is one 
I hope I hope you guys now know what is the meaning of this count. The meaning of this count for every node will be the number of nodes which are lesser than the the current node, right? You will you will understand it. You will understand it. Wait. I know it is it is little tricky. So our answer is now again zero, and we will come to next element or the previous element, right? So okay, now our two is here. Now we'll shift. Our two here and ask is two is greater than one? Yes, two is greater than one. So two will ask to node number one. Hey, okay, I am greater than you. Tell me how many nodes are greater than? Uh, how many nodes are smaller than me present? Uh, present. So node number one reply, sir, only one node is present, which is me. So please add me in your answer. So we will add, we will add this one again to our answer. So initially, initially we were having one. Now, initially that is this is for node number six. This is for node number six, and for node number one, since it is the last node, so we will automatically add zero. For node number six, we are at having this, and now for uh, now we are at uh, for node number two. So okay. We had compared this. Now see, we should we should add this to the right side of node number one. But there is already a child present at uh, right side of this node. So what we will do, we will compare this with this node. So we'll compare this with this. So what we are asking to node number six, node number two is asking to node number six, is I am greater than you? So node number six was replying. No, I am greater than you. So node number what should node number two do? Node number should come to left side of that node number six. So what we will do? We'll create node here, and its count should be one, and it should be connected like this. And one more thing which we need to do is we need to update the value of count of node number six by one. So it should be to y one because we have found one more node which is which is lesser than six. That is node number two. That's why we are updating this count of this node number six. Okay. Now we'll come to next node or the pre uh, previous node. So we'll come to node number five. Okay. So we will write five here. Now see, we will again compare. We will again or before before this we will uh, add this answer to our list. So we'll add one here. Four, two. Now my answer is again zero. Okay. So now we'll again compare. So five is greater than five is greater than one. So five will again ask node number one how many nodes are lesser than me. So one node number one reply one. So we will add one. Okay. Now we'll try to compare it with six. So five will come here. So. Six is greater than five, so we will update uh, the counter of six by one because we have again found we have again found a value which is greater than six, so we should we should increment the value of this count. So it should be should be three now. Now what we will do? We will compare five with five with two. See, we are now again comparing five with two. Okay. So five is five is guys greater than two. Five is greater than two. So, what what uh, node number five? Sorry, it is greater. Five is greater than two. So node number five will ask to node number two, hey, how many nodes are great lesser than me present from you? So node number two reply one, sir. That is I am, right? Okay. So we will add this one also. Now we should uh, add this to the right child of this node number two because there is no right uh, child present. So what we'll do? We'll add node number five like this, and count should be one. Okay. Now see. Now see. Now the interesting point. Now we are at this index. So we'll add. So our answer is two. One plus one is two. So this is for. This is for five. Okay, now we are at this seven. So 
to let me first erase uh, this okay so now we are at 7 so see we will again compare it with 1 so 7 is greater than 1 so if 7 is greater than 1 so what we will do we will add this count that is we will add these much of nodes to our answer so we will add 1 here okay fine now what we will do we will again compare it with 6 see guys see we are comparing it with 6 this is the interesting point and here you i think you will understand what is the meaning of this count very easily right so 7 is greater than 6 right 7 is greater than 6 so uh, 7 is asking to node number 6 hey how many nodes are greater than are smaller than me present from you so node number 6 is replying sir there are three nodes which is smaller than you present including me which is these three nodes so this 3 means for this 7 is this 3 nodes. So we will add plus 3 also, right? And since there is no right side present to node number 6, so we will add, we will add this 7 here. And count for this is 1 and this is 4. So we will add 4 here. And if we reverse this, if we reverse this, so it should be look like this 4, 2, 1, 1, 0. And guys, this is nothing, right? This is nothing but our answer, our final answer. 42110, 42110. So this is what we need to return, right? So this is the algorithm. This is the algorithm to solve this problem. Now, now let me share the code of this problem. So code is here, right? Code is here. So initially we have this function, right? Initially we have this function. We have we have this uh, array. We have this array. And what we need to return? We need to return this list, right? So, we will create a resultant list, right? And uh, what we will do, okay, before before explaining this function, let me show you the, the node class, right? Tree node class. So, in tree node class, uh, we have created this tree node class for uh, creation of our BHT. So, what we have in our tree node class, we have left pointer, we have right pointer, we have data pointer, and we have one more special thing, this count variable, which is initially equals to 1, right? Okay, and this is the constructor for this class. Okay, now let me show you the uh, the, in, uh, the the function which is given to us, right? So function is here. So if uh, num is null or length is null, so we'll return the empty list. Otherwise, what we'll do? We'll create the node and named it as root from the last element of our array. So we will create it like this and in result in result we will add zero initially because for the last element there is no further smaller even the element present so we will therefore adding zero here right okay now here what we are doing is we are uh, calling this insert function i will show you this insert function for every remaining element right and adding the count to our answer and at finally we are reversing this and this is our uh, resultant list right so this is what we are finally returning now let me quickly share you show you the the insert node function how we are inserting so this uh, first let me erase this thing okay so see guys this smaller variable is nothing but our answer variable that i have shown you an algorithm part and this temp variable this temp node is nothing but node of a particular value right we are iterating over each value of the element of the array so this this node is nothing but the node for uh, those elements right so now what we are doing we are having this is connected uh, is connected uh, boolean variable which will help us to construct our bst right so initially it is false so until it is false that means we haven't connected this temp node we have it connected this temp node to our tree right so once we connect it like here we are connecting it or here we are connecting it so we will mark this is connected boolean variable and true then we will come out from the from our uh, while loop and we will return this uh, smaller or our answer variable right so what we are doing in this uh, while loop actually we are doing this nothing we are just following our uh, algorithm so see 
if root dot data is greater than this so what we will do we will increment root dot count plus plus right and connect uh, and uh, try to connect it with its left uh, the, the the temp node to its left subtree in its left subtree right if there is already left subtree present so we will uh, make our root to root dot left otherwise if root um, the data is greater than time dot sorry time dot data is greater than root dot data so we will do this right we will increment our answer by the current root count and we will try to add the temp to the right side of our tree right so this is what we were doing in the algorithm right i hope i hope this is it uh, this is it this is it and at finally after this while loop we will return this smaller or this answer variable right so this is the code of this problem right i hope you guys uh, now understand how, how how the algorithm and the code work for this right okay thank you so much for watching